Well, the inactive voter list in Washita Parish grew after the post office returned a huge number of voter information cards to the Registrar of Voters Office. Kenya Ross joins us now with details. Kenya? Yes, Jennifer, as of today, more than 12,000 voters are listed as inactive in Washita Parish, but there's still time to change your status to active. You get inactive when your card is returned to me. Everybody that wasn't mailed a card. As of Thursday, exactly 12,030 registered voters in Washita Parish have an inactive voter status. The list grew after the post office returned a large amount of voter information cards to the registrar of voters office. The voter information card contains details like your voting site if there was a change to your address. Every district that represents your address is placed on that card. This would be your polling place and then all of these boxes down here, these are your districts and it tells you what each district in the parish, what the district number is. If your congressional district changed, it will show you here that is whatever your new number is in the Supreme Court which what your new number is. If the registrar of voters received your voter information card back, it's going to automatically generate something called an address confirmation notice, giving you a chance to update your status to an active voter. And this is the front of the card and this is the back of the card. But these cards come inside an envelope that will be folded in half like this. So you're, if you have a voter information card, it's going to come in an envelope this size. Even if your address is correct, please send it back to us. This will verify the information that we receive from the post office is correct. And citizens can also update their information through the voter, par through the voter portal on the GoVote mobile app or on geauxvote.com. Jennifer.